everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Today we are going to be doing something very freaking exciting. So I was scrolling on Netflix and I was seeing everyone talk about slash watch slash react to this new Avatar live action show on Netflix. And I started watching the first episode for you guys and then I realized I just do not know enough about this to go into it. So I stopped watching the live action and that is basically what this video is going to be all about. We are going to be watching the original Avatar The Last Airbender. After we finish all the three book series, we are going to move on to Netflix's live action and we're going to make each book like two videos so each se season will be like two videos basically but in short you guys understand what I'm saying yeah I for one really enjoyed watching this I'm so excited for you guys to see it you have no idea I literally ugh, please I hope you guys enjoyed this video grab some popcorn grab some snacks and just let's watch it together but before we get into this video I would love to remind you guys that we are currently on a goal of trying to hit a thousand subscribers because when we do I have a really fun and exciting video that I cannot wait for you guys to see but I can only really sit when we hit a thousand sub subscribers so there's a hair that I pulled by. So <laughs> make sure to subscribe and make sure to hit the like button while you're at it. Because why not? You know? Why not? Let's go. Hell yeah, let's go. Book one, chapter one. Oh, she's trying to water bend. Sokka, look! Oh, she caught it in a ball. That's cool, but her brother doesn't care. <laughs> Sokka's like An ancient art, unique to our culture, blah blah. Oh, so he's a little obnoxious, isn't he? Oh, uh, he's such a such a little. I don't know how to tell what kind of person Sokka is so far. I think Katara's feisty, and that's funny. Maybe you should have waterbended us out of the ice. So sarcastic. <laughs> Leave it to a girl to screw things up. Ooh, that's not very nice. Most sexist amateur. Ooh, her powers are working. That's cool. Ever since Mom died, I've been doing all the work. Around Wait, her anger is breaking the ice. Have you ever smelled your dirty socks? Not Listen. That's so cool. But honestly, he deserves to be told off. He's being stupid. Ah. So now they're being swept away. I did that? Yeah, you're powerful, girl. Huh? Is that a huge iceberg that's glowing? Oh, that's the avatar. That's Aang. We have to help. Break the ice, girl. You you can get him. You can get him. And Sokka, shut up. <laughs> you're annoying. Ah. Oh god, breaking that that would take so long. And it exploded! Oh, the light is waking up all the animals. <laughs> the Fire Nation. Uncle, do you realize what this means? I know where the Avatar is. Please, sit. He just wants him to drink tea. He wants him to have some jasmine tea and play a game. I need to capture the Avatar! I think you need some calming tea, bro. What's up, Bang? Oh, poor guy. So much power. Why are you bonking him on the head? I need to ask you something. He just woke up. What does he have to ask? Will you go penguin sledding with me? That's so cute. I love this though. I love it. how he just, he doesn't care. He's like, okay, I was frozen, but let's, let's go penguin. Whatever he said, penguin sailing now. Wake up, buddy. Appa. I love sky bisons. They're so cool. <laughs> oh wait, they've never seen a sky bison before, have they? What is that thing? It's Appa. Right. And this is Katara, my flying sister. That is not the same thing. So you're going to sneeze? That's so yucky. <laughs> Ding ding ding! Appa, yip, yip. This is so pure. I love this. Wait, he's in the water? Wow, that was truly amazing. <laughs> okay, Sokka, I kind of get, I kind of get him. He's a little funny. I get it. Why are you smiling at me? He thinks you're pretty. What is this? The Fire Nation? Evil little Zuko? You need some sleep. I feel like without sleep, you'll go even crazier. They'll just go mad eventually. Grandfather and great grandfather all tried and failed. It's a generational thing to try and find the Avatar. So that's why he's so determined to catch the Avatar because his grandfather and his father and his great grandfather, that was the wrong order, but that was like their goal to catch the Avatar. If you had any idea what happened to the Avatar, I'm the Avatar. I didn't know him. Does he not know that he's the Avatar yet? <laughs> Is this like a memory? Oh no, he got stuck in the wave. So he knows that he's the Avatar, I guess not yet. Wait, but was that him remembering what happened and how he ended up there? This is the entire village. Hi, village. It's such a small little village, it's so cute. No one has seen an airbender in a hundred years. Been a hundred years. Oh wait, he doesn't know that it's been a hundred years, does he? Call me Grand Grand. Hey, Grand Grand. I like that Aang feels like a real child. It's like refreshing. He got his head stuck in the eye. <laughs> I sense he's filled with much wisdom. What wisdom that is. 
Oh, he's training. Teach me the next set. If he says you're not ready, then you're not ready. You gotta study harder. Practice harder. Got a century to master the four elements. Oh, that's what he thinks. He thinks that because the Avatar is a hundred years old, that he's extremely powerful and learns all these things. But little does he know, Aang is just a little kid. He doesn't know anything. He's been sleeping for the past hundred years. How can we call ourselves men? Oh, the little babies. <laughs> that means no party breaks. I mean, if the if, if if the baby's gotta go, he's gotta go. Who else has to go? Oh, they're sliding off of his little tail. That's so cute. Penguin! Oh my god, he saw a penguin and lost it. Oh my god. I'll help you catch a penguin if you teach me water bending. That's a good deal. Isn't there someone in your tribe who can teach you? She's the only water bender left. Wait, so he still doesn't know about the war because they're busy penguin sledding. <laughs> I love to go penguin sledding. That looks cool. I haven't done this since I was a kid. You still are a kid. True. Fine. I'm happy that he's telling her, girl, you're gonna have some fun. Let loose. You're still a child. Aw. Bye bye, penguins. That was fun. What is that? Oh, now he's gonna learn about the Fire Nation. War is a century old. You were in there that whole time. Well, the memory come back to him that he was in a storm and he just had to save himself. Maybe somehow there's a bright side to all this. I did get to meet you. There you go. That's looking at a silver lining. <laughs> Now you guys are stuck. What is that? Uh-oh. Did they just alert the Fire Nation that they're in the ship? You've got to be kidding. Oh no, but he's watching through a telescope. I found the Avatar. No, why did he find the Avatar? <laughs> To be continued! Fuck no, we're on episode 2, you guys. I think maybe we'll watch until like episode 10, and then there'll be a part 2. I don't know, because I think it's just too much for one day. I, I want to have time to like edit this and upload it for you guys. Fire! Air! Chapter 2. Okay, so now he just loaded Zuko that we're right here, and he's putting everyone in danger, all because he wanted to explore the stupid sh dark ship set off a booby trap. The Grand does not look pleased. What, what do they call her? The... Grand Grand? You signal the fire navy with that foot. But it was an accident. We were on the ship and there was this booby trap. We boobied right into it. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. I'm protecting you from threats like him. But he's not a threat. Get out of our village. Come on, open up your head a little bit. He's not a bad guy. He's just a kid. Then I'm banished too. Damn, I love Katara. She's like, if you're gonna banish my friend, I'm going with him. Would you really choose him over your tribe? But it's, it shouldn't be a choice that's given to her in the first place. I don't want to come between you and your family. No, I don't want it to be goodbye. We just started this friendship. Hey, don't go. I'll miss you. No one wants him to leave besides Sokka and the Grand Grand. Why is this so sad? I don't want him to go. Oh, Oh, he sees that the Fire Nation is coming. You gotta go protect him, buddy. Their ship went all the way that close to their village? What the f- They couldn't have docked their ship and walked over? Why'd they have to break through their village? What was the point in a big entrance like that? You ne you did not need to do that. That just annoys me. You broke through their village for no reason at all. You could have docked it by the water. Okay, you little- I don't know what you expected to happen there. That was dumb. He'd be about this age, master of all elements? It's not the grandma and he's not a grandpa. <coughs> is it gonna come back? Yeah! Bangarang! Bangarang? Boomerang! What the fuck is a bangarang? I don't know what the fuck I just said. <laughs> hey, he came in on a sled penguin! <laughs> <laughs> I love the penguin sledding thing. I'm obsessed with that. You're the airbender? Yep. Or the avatar? Yes, sir. Bang? Oh, they're just finding out that he's the avatar. If I go with you, will you promise to leave everyone alone? Wait, that's actually really noble of him. He he looked back and he heard the kids screaming and he was like, you know what? I don't want this tribe to go through something traumatic like what they went through in the past. So you know what? I'll go with you. Is that okay? Like that's, I like Aang. He's a good man. A good boy. He's not even a man yet. So now they have to take care of Appa. Oh, he's still smiling even while the doors are closing. To show them that he's okay. Or are you coming with me? They're gonna go save Aang. <laughs> We're going to save your boyfriend. <laughs> I think that's funny. You'll need these. Oh, she's being protective. Uh, not protective. She's being, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Why am I forgetting English? Supportive. That's the word I was looking for. God damn it. That took too long. No way we're going to catch a warship with a canoe. You forgot about Eppa. I suppose you wouldn't know a father's. Oh yeah, being raised by monks. Does he not have a dad? Does he not have a mom? I never thought about that. <laughs> He just shoved the guy into the door and managed to shove himself back and run away even with his hands tied. That's pretty epic. Up. Ascend. Yip, yip. Yip, yip. There you go. They're flying. Katari's 
I mean, no, get excited. It's fun when you're excited. I like when he was excited. That was cute. That made me happy. I like that very much. With the uncles in there, leave. <laughs> the way his lips go out. <laughs> He literally, he's trying to fight him with the fire and then Aang is behind him like hiding. He just smacked him around with the mattress and that was the best thing ever. The captain just looked at him like, he just looked at him, he didn't say anything. Ugh. Come on, he was so close to getting away, but you just couldn't let it go. But I mean, at the end of the day, if this, if this fight was in his family for generations, I understand why he can't just let him go. He has to literally fight with all his might to try and keep the avatar there. Okay, he might fall, but I feel like he'll be saved by Appa. Oh no. Avatar activated. Hell yeah, let's go. This is so epic. Whoa. But he just doesn't have enough control over it, so it, it really, like, it takes a lot out, out of him, I guess. I dropped my staff. Got it. Aw, Sokka's turning out to be a, a good man. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Don't give me no jump scares. Oh. <laughs> Did she just freeze them? <laughs> oh my god, the uncle has no idea what just happened. <laughs> just you wait until you hear what just happened. You, you just messed it up for yourself. That was cool. Oh, their ship's fully stuck. I won't underestimate him again. I mean, he's kind of smart for saying that. Like, yeah, it's a kid, but guess what? He's extremely powerful. Why didn't you tell us you were the Avatar? I never wanted to be. Oh, so he did already know. Okay, he just didn't want to talk about it. He didn't want, want it to be a known thing. If we go to the North Pole... Oh, now I get it. It's like book one is water, book two is earth, and book three is fire. So those are all the elements that he has to learn and master. Okay, that makes sense. Here, we'll ride the hopping lump. This this kid is awesome because he literally is on a mission to save the world and he has a lot of training to do. It's very serious, but he pulls out a map and he's like, no, 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 you guys. First, we gotta do this. We gotta do this and it's all fun little activities. I love that so much. Like, he's like a true kid. Fire, air, chapter three, chap, chapter three, chapter three, southern air temple. So are we going to Aang's home? There's a prickle snake in your sleeping bag. Oh, uh, is he gonna fall on the, oh no. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to wake someone up. I feel like when I get up in the morning, it's actually pretty easy. But the days that are really hard, I feel like that's a, oh, such a good method to get someone up. Just like, seize him. Captain Zhao, it's Commander. Hi, Captain. Oh, so he's Iro and he's Zhao and he's Zuko. Let's hope I remember that. What? Did we crash or something? Why are they? Li oh, they're lying because they don't want everyone to know that the Avatar is there. Because then everyone will be on the search for the Avatar. Do you have any ginseng tea? What is the uncle's thing with tea? <laughs> He's obsessed with tea. There it is. The Southern Air Temple. That's beautiful. Wow. That is so pretty. I love the like blue on the temples. How is your search for the Avatar going? Did the uncle really just do that? Oh, was he? did he do that on purpose to shut the conversation down about the Avatar? <laughs> I haven't found anything. Damn, he has no loyalty towards you. So far, I'm loving every single voice actor. Like, they fit the character perfectly. I'm really, like, loving this. They confirmed Prince Zuko had the Avatar <laughs> in custody. They just threw him under the barrel. They're like, yeah, you can lie, but that doesn't mean we have to. We're not lying for you. And all you can think about is food? Nah, I guess Sokka here. If I'm hungry, I am hangry. I need food when I need food. Like, I wish I had more control over it, but I don't. I'm just, I'm a completely different person when I'm hungry. This place used to be full of monks and lemurs. That should probably indicate where this is going. This airball game, how do you play? Oh, they're trying to cheer him up. So they're gonna play airball. That's so, I love this so much. They are such good friends for him. That looks fun. I mean, it looks like it hurts, but it definitely looks fun. Making him feel better is putting me in a world of hurt. That just shows you're a good person. Check this out. Oh, she's protecting him. You know, you can't protect him forever. Look, I understand that Katara is doing the right thing by protecting him. She doesn't want his. She doesn't want him to see the Fire Nation mask. But at the end of the day, he's gonna get to the top of the temple and realize that no one is there. There's no Airbenders left. She won't be able to protect him forever. So it's sweet, but it won't work in the long run. Who's that? Monkey Atso. Monkey Atso? He taught me everything I know. That's crazy. It's in the gooey center. Cake? That's awesome. Let's make some cakes. That's our thing. Maybe the monks made a mistake. So wait, 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 wait. I... The only mistake they made was telling you before you turned 16. Oh, he wasn't supposed to know before he turned 16? We must act on what is. That is wisdom right there. When you are ready, he will reveal himself to you. That's cool. Two. Are we spreading the icing with air? Oh, no, we're throwing the cakes? That is the best thing ever. <laughs> I love this man. He's a legend. 
I think an airbender can only open the door. <laughs> oh, so you blow hair into the horns, and then it turns that thing around, and that connects to that thing, and then boom, it's unlocked. What's left in there is the question. It just looks like darkness. Hello? Hello? That's what someone says right before they die in a horror movie. This isn't a horror movie, though. So it'll be just fine. But there might be a jump scare. I don't know. <laughs> Hunting the Avatar for two years, and I have to fail. Oh, so the commander's taking over it. <laughs> You didn't have to kick the table over. So they got kicked off the mission of trying to capture the Avatar. Commander Zhao was like, I'm taking that. Who are all these people? But it feels like I know them somehow. Are these all the Avatars? They're lined up in a pattern. Air, water, earth, and fire. That's so cool. Imagine being able to get that much wisdom from that amount of people. But that's cool. I didn't know that each Avatar was born like throughout the cycle where it's air, fire, earth, water, or whatever it was, whatever the, I forgot what it was. <laughs> What was that sound? Who is that? Oh, it's a lemur. It's the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> this is crazy, all just to catch a lemur. I have hundreds of warships under my command. Oh, he's Brent. He's banished? Father doesn't even want you. Wait, 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 wait. So he, so this commander has a whole army with him. He is ready to fight. He, he, he got his, like he got people backing him up. But all Prince Zuko has is some people and his uncle because he was banished by his father. If I deliver the avatar to Why is it in a different language now? The subtitles. If you're if your father really wanted you home, he would have let you return by now. Wait, so he's only letting him return when he catches the Avatar. Is that why he's so determined to catch the Avatar? Because he's banished otherwise? A scar to prove it. Wait, I thought everyone from the Fire Nation had that scar that Zuko has. But apparently not. Wait, so how and why was he given that scar? I, I, for some reason, I thought the whole Fire Nation had it, even though the commander doesn't. Have you forgotten what happened last time you dueled the master? His scar? <laughs> It's all fun and games over here. <laughs> we left that serious stuff way over there. This is fun. <laughs> he shouldn't see that. I don't want to hear him cry. That's so sad. Avatar activated. He has no control over it. He's mad. And are they all going to get activated too? That's an insane amount of power. That's like unfathomable. They're all seeing that he's the Avatar is working. It's his Avatar spirit. Katara's gonna try and calm him down. How is this gonna work? Is she? Gonna, I hope she doesn't get hurt. <laughs> I love how it's a Fire Nation and they have red flags. Fire Nation, they are just red flags. <laughs> that's such a stupid fucking joke. But I'm, I sorry, that's what came to my head. This will be over quickly. I'm really gonna fight the commander? I feel like this is such a waste of time. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Let's go! I like the music. Oh no! Why am I saying oh no? We don't like him. Your father raised a coward. So that was a threat, basically. He was saying I could have gotten you in your face, but I decided to show you that I'm just capable of doing it. And what it? The uncle's like, you tried. You tried? Miss though. <laughs> My nephew is more honorable than you. Why do I like the uncle? Like, I know they're evil and everything, but the uncle's kind of like funny and cool and smart. I told you Jing Sang Tea is my favorite. <laughs> okay, I weirdly liking the grandpa. Uncle, not grandpa. Oops. <laughs> but you still have a family. Yeah, imagine what they went through. Wait, that's really sweet. She's basically trying to remind Aang that like, yeah, he lost everyone and it's an insane thing to realize and go through. And, and try and adjust you. She's trying to say, hey, look at me and Sokka. We lost our mom and our dad has been gone for how like three years. And we uh, basically, we're the only family that we have. But guess what? Now we're your family too. So I guess she's trying to show him it's not all terrible. And there is a silver lining behind all of it. Katara and I aren't going to let anything happen to you. Oh, this is really sweet. I really am the last airbender. I mean, it's harsh, but at least he's facing reality. Although it's always fun to live in delusion. I do think we all get by. <laughs> there's good delusion and then there's bad delusion. I think that's, that's the difference. Oh. We gave him food. That's a precious thing to do. All that's left of this place. We have to stick together. Yeah. Momo. <laughs> so we got Sokka, Katara, Aang, Momo, and Appa. That's our little family. Bye bye, Southern Air Temple. Chapter four, the warriors of Kyoshi. Now whatever you have to say, I'm sure I can take. Okay, he's trying to take the right road, but I don't think it's gonna last. Yeah. What? 
That, what did I say? What did I say? That he would not be able to control himself, and sure enough. He is clearly a master of evasive- I honestly have no idea how you're gonna find him. You have no idea where you're going, do you? That is hilarious. Everyone is thinking the Avatar is a genius. He's maneuvering through places. He knows exactly what he's doing. Sure enough, he's just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just doing it. He's better at fixing pants than guys, and guys are better at hunting and fighting. And okay, so Sokka's being a little bit of a sexist character. Like, look, I have to agree with the fact that, yes, men are stronger. Literally. Really, that is just nature. Men are stronger, so yes, it would make sense that they would they would be better at uh, fighting and hunting and war. But at the end of the day, if a girl wants to do it too, she can. Like it's not a whale. Elephant koi. What's an elephant koi? Yeah! That looks so fun, though. I would never, for the life of me, do that. But in my dreams, it would look fun. Oh no, he's trying to show off to Katara, and she had to run off because Appa's eating stuff. What was that? <gasps> We're on their island! I love these girls! They're so cool! They're warriors! <laughs> That's so funny! They captured little Momo. I mean, they're blindfolded. They, <laughs> they blindfolded everyone besides Momo. Momo's just like, Where are the men who ambushed us? Women. There's no way a bunch of girls took us. Why is Sokka being like this? He's an idiot sometimes. He's being an idiot. Avatar Kyoshi was born here. Oh, so she's she's another avatar just like him. I'm the avatar. This man is 112 years old. <laughs> oh, will that prove it? You are the avatar. Yay, they believe him. Check this out. I love this kid. I love this kid. <laughs> this is so good. Avatars on Kyoshi. Oh no, it's spreading. That's not good. The avatars on Kyoshi Island? That was bad. No, I don't want them to go to Kyoshi Island. I like Kyoshi Island. It looks so nice. I think it's cool that they repaint her statue and keep it nice and clean. Always looking good. It's like a sign of respect. These people sure know how to train an avatar. Oh my god, that looks so good. I'm so hungry. I might make food in the middle of this episode with you guys and like eat it with you guys. <laughs> we might just do that. He's just upset because a bunch of girls kicked his butt yesterday. You gotta get used to the fact that girls know how to fight too. They can train. Mm. This is tasty. <laughs> mm, this is tasty. We'll be fine. Oh my god, Momo. That's killing me. I love this so much. They're hitting all of my like humor marks. Like the stupid little things that make me laugh, they're just doing it and it's perfect. And also, I gotta listen, guys. Like every single character is like their own person. Katara's very feisty, but she's also like really caring and loyal. And Aang is just a hilarious child who has so much responsibility that he's gonna learn, but he's such a child, as you guys can see. And then Sokka is funny, but he's also loyal. He's a little sexist, but I think he'll hopefully learn that that's not proper. I feel like every character is just such a character and they all like mold together really well. Like they're not perfect. Like every single character has their flaws and I think that's what makes them human and I love that. <laughs> Aww, the girls have a crush on Aang. <laughs> Get over it, buddy. Didn't mean to interrupt your dance lesson. Dance lesson? Normally I'd hold a grudge, but seeing as you guys are a bunch of girls. He needs to be kicked and, and taught a lesson. <laughs> Maybe you'd be kind enough to give us a little demonstration. I love that she's feeding into it. Like, yeah, yeah, show us then. Show us. Wouldn't you like him to show us some moves? I think she's smart. <laughs> yeah, you thought. You can handle this! They train like crazy, buddy. You got a lot to learn. And there's no shame in admitting that. Watching you show off for a bunch of girls does not sound like fun. True. I don't like when people act like show-offs. There's something I really like about this place. I think it's just the avatar inside you. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I was going to take that to a deeper place and say, oh, I think it's the avatar inside you that just feels like it's at home. But then it panned over to the girls and he just likes the attention. Jealous. Jealous? Oh, you guys are being such children right now. <laughs> I would be honored if you would teach me. Yay! I'm sorry if I insulted you earlier. Look at him! Look at him growing, learning, understanding. But you have to follow all of our traditions. Are they gonna put him in makeup? It's a warrior's uniform. To be fair, him even allowing himself to be put in that fit, he, like, respect, respect. I respect that. Hey, Sokka, nice dress. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of perfect. Remember how the Unagi almost got me yesterday? Now I'm gonna go ride it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show off because I can do it. Dangerous. Good for you. Look at her not feeding into it. I like Katara. Great. I know it's great. Oh, I'm glad you know. I'm glad you're glad. Good. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Y'all gotta get over it. Okay, their training's kind of cute. They're learning against each other. Don't leave. Sorry, Aang. 
They're bored. They don't want to sit here and watch you sit in the water. And also, you shouldn't be in the water. I wanted to make sure you were safe. Yeah, see, she doesn't care about a stupid fight. I was being a jerk. Look at you learning. It's like just when they have the redemption, they make up, everything's okay, the Unagi comes and he's like, nah. Ew, it's a big ugly snake thing. Oh, he's hanging on to his whisker. That's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, let's go, girl. She used some of her powers. Are they good? Oh, she got them out of danger. Hell yeah, let's go. Now the Fire Nation's here. They don't. They can't catch a break. It never ends. Oh, that's a good move. She got the water out of his lungs. Don't ride the Unagi. I think we all learned that no one should do that. I think we actually not even learned. I think before you did that, we knew that you shouldn't have done that. So that's fine. Firebenders See, that's the thing, right when he was trying, right when he was trying to learn and he was actually finally getting it. Firebenders have to come and ruin it all. Find him. Leave everyone alone on this island. Just go. Go away. You're so annoying. You chose an ugly animal to ride. I have nothing against rhinos. I just like to get the firebenders, okay? They don't even have any bending skills. Look at them. Yes, he protected her. Oh, no. No, their entire village was destroyed. And their statue? I know it feels wrong to run, but I think it's the only way. Yeah, you gotta call up and we gotta go. That's just bringing harm to these people. It's like, it's not the right thing, but there's, n there's not much else they can do right now. I should have treated you like a warrior. I'm so... But I'm a girl too. <laughs> I love that because a lot of times they'll be like, yeah, I'm a warrior. I, I'm not a girl. It doesn't matter. But she was like, no, I'm a warrior. But guess what? My strength is that I'm a girl also. And she gave him a little kiss on the cheek. And I love that. Zuko would have destroyed the whole place if we stayed. I mean, they already destroyed so much of it. But wait, what is he doing? What is he going to do with the snake? I, I knew that the second he fell into the water, it was going to be something with the snake. But what? Well, what can he do with the snake? <laughs> He made the snake spray a bunch of water into the village so that they're okay from the Fire Nation. That is so smart. I'm proud of Aang. That was admirable. He did one last thing to save him, and then he hopped back into Appa's arms. Thank you, Avatar. Oh my god, stop it. Oh, I love that. Before we go into the fifth episode, I am gonna go make some food because I'm starving, and then we will come right back into this. I just went ahead and I ate some chicken, and now I have some pasta over here, so we're all hungered up. So if you guys are hungry too, I hope you guys brought a snack, like popcorn or chips or pickles. I love snacking on pickles. It's normally pretty hard for me to sit through a bunch of episodes at once, but this show's easy, This show because it's so good. Chapter five, The King of o Omashu. I don't wanna mispronounce something. Earth Kingdom Oh, we're at the Earth Kingdom now. You need a disguise. Oh my god, they're gonna put him into disguise? So itchy. That is not a good disguise. People here are the friendliest in the world. They're not gonna be very friendly, are they? <laughs> That's definitely not very friendly. Bunzu! Pippin Petal loves the Cupolis. What kind of name is that? What is going through your head? June Pippin Petal loves the Cupolis. How did she remember that? <laughs> Enjoy your mashu. We've no way that fucking worked. No way that worked. I don't know if they should have brought Momo into this because it might be dangerous. Because aren't Momo and uh, Appa known to be airbender pets or animals? But my friend Boomy found a better use for these shoots. Are they gonna ride in the shoots? What do you see? Um. Oh, this is a flashback? <laughs> oh my god, the snort. <laughs> that does look crazy fun. Starting to have seconds. It's too late to have second thoughts, girls. You're already on the slide. What is that? And why is it riding next to them? Ah. Oh, wait, it's on. It's behind them. I thought it was on another trail. Mm. Ah. Oh, no, they messed up that man's cabbages. That's not nice. Traveling under false pretenses and malicious destruction of cabbage. That's a lot of things, but like the cabbage thing is kind of funny. Throw them a feast. What? I'm just as confused. Guess it's time to hit the You know who he reminds me of? No, Aang. Just any airbender. He revealed who he is. The Pippin Padlopsacopolis. That's a funny name. I was gonna say that guy with the beard reminds me of the rat from the rat of Nicodemus. What's that movie called? Secret of Nim. It just gives me the same vibes. But that big rat was like actually a, like the old rat was a good rat. So I don't, I don't know if this man is a good man yet. Let us leave. Let us leave. This man needs to be stopped because these jokes are. Avatar will face three deadly challenges. I don't know what's going on. I wonder what these challenges are gonna be. I'm so confused why they're keeping him here just so that he can do three challenges. Like, what are the? What is the point? Baka, Katara. 
Wait, why were they taken? The king will free them if you complete your challenge. That's such a messy thing to do. We didn't need to put his friends in danger. What do you think of my new outfit? It's ugly. I'm waiting. It's ugly. Fine. Pass the first test. Who is this man? Those delightful rings are made of pure genomite. This man just put rings on Sokka and Katara that literally will grow onto them and could possibly unalive them because it will just grow onto them and they'll be crystallized. That is so evil. It's already creeping. That's great. That this man is wild. And fetching it for me. He's acting like the main thing is to grab the key, but there's obviously another hook. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, if he could water bend, it would be easy. There. He gave you the key. Lost my pet Flopsy. What's a Flopsy? Oh, that's so cute. Flopsy. Oh my God, that's Flopsy. I'm ready for the next challenge. <laughs> Oh, that's a crazy look. That is a, if a man looks at you like this, that's a crazy look. You may choose your opponent. Which one is he gonna choose? You. What in the world? He's a secret crazy strong man. What in the world is this old guy doing? He's crazy. Huh? Why'd he just disappear into the ground? Oh, is he letting them go? You must answer one question. What is my name? How are we supposed to know his name? <laughs> Boomy? It's his old friend. That's crazy. Look at his age next to Aang. They were friends. Delicious. And it was candy. They were fine the whole time. I have a challenge for you. What? Oh my God, are they going to ride on it? That is so awesome. I love that. My Poor man and his cabbages. That was a cute episode. That was crazy at the end though. Chapter six, in prison. That does not sound fun or good. An earthbender practicing? Better approach cautiously. Hello there. Girl, what are you doing? He doesn't look dangerous though. Oh damn, but he did run away from you just saying hi. I bet that village has a market. Oh poor, I just realized they're probably starving because he went looking for dinner, but he just came back with nuts, which means they must just be eating nuts like every day, which is not filling whatsoever. So they're probably starving. Where have you been, Haru? Oh, so his name's Haru? You're that kid. Why did she just run in and start talking? You have to knock on a door, girl. This is a store. We saw you earthbending. That was supposed to be a secret. Sometimes so hard to control. They're threatening the people in their village. It's not even, I don't even know if it's their village because they're not just in the Fire Nation suit. Which means, are they just under the control of the Fire Nation? Are they earthbenders who are not allowed to be earthbenders? Fire Lord Ozai uses our town's coal mines. That is messed up. They could take Haru away. Okay, wait, I understand her. If she, she's, she's really afraid of her son being taken away because her husband was taken away. So she doesn't want her son to keep practicing earthbending. It's to protect him. But at the end of the day, if, if he practices earthbending, maybe he could save them. I don't know. That's tough. But I mean, that's the point of the Avatar. He's supposed to help all of this though. See this necklace? My mother gave it to me. They both lost their parents. I mean, at least they got to bond. <laughs> what just happened? There's a way you can help him. Earthbend, you can do it. He saved him. That was amazing. That was courageous. This village is crawling with Fire Nation troops. He has a huge point though. If the Fire Nation is invading, is has already invaded this area, it's a matter of seconds before they find out that he's here. They should leave as soon as possible. Unless it's too late. Now I'm worried. That's him. That's the Earthbender. I had a small inkling feeling where I was like, how do we know if this old man is gonna actually be protect him and like be grateful that he saved his life? He Ratted him out! What a little snake! Moral of the story, don't help innocent old men! <laughs> They're going to arrest me for earthbending. What? How is she gonna earthbend? I understand that she, she wants to save this guy and I would also do everything I can, especially if you feel like it's your fault, but... Fake earthbending. How, are they gonna like, the thing is, yeah, okay, she faced earthbending, she gets captured, how does she get out of it? You giant eared cretin! <laughs> what a good fight! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You've got 12 hours to find a room. They fully were like, yeah, it's the lemur. You guys are so dumb. And he feels hurt because she called his ears really big. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with having big ears. I got them too. I love my big ears. I feel like an elf. And can't they tell by her outfit that she's from the water tribe? That's what confuses me a little bit. Or are they just stupid? And they're not educated. They don't know. You will succeed here. Is this supposed to be like a manipulation tactic? Man had to cough. The guest dishonors his host by interrupting. Okay, so there's definitely manipulation here. They're trying to make you feel like, oh, you're part of us. You can succeed here. But if you do one little thing wrong, bye-bye. Entirely of metal. 
Oh, I get it. If it's metal, they can't do anything. They need the earth. Duh. What's funny is she's surrounded by what she bends, which is water. She's more than fine. She could do something if she really wanted to. I'm just not sure what she could do right now. Three locked doors, really? Oh, this looks sad. But will she find him? I came to rescue you. She did it for you, boy! Katara, this is my father. He got reunited with his father! Honor to meet you. Oh, I love that so much. I'm so happy that she... I'm happy someone got reunited with their parents. The plan is to survive. Nah, nah, nah. Hope that one day some of us can... No, 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 no. We gotta figure out a way to escape, and I know the guitar is gonna help. Fire Nation has made you powerless. I understand her point, but she shouldn't be making a speech when even the guards can hear. And they're looking and listening. That feels a little dangerous. Let us fight for our freedom! Nope. I knew, I knew it was gonna be silent. They've been here who knows how long. They've been here for years, girl. A lot of them just don't have that same hope. <gasps> of course Aang would come to rescue, but what about Haru? Not giving up on these people. I understand her, but I'm really not sure what she can do. A buffalo or a bison? Did he just throw a guy overboard because he thought that he saw a bison in the sky and he, he wasn't sure if it was a bison or a buffalo? That was the captain. Yeah, you dummy. I bet they're burning coal, earth. Oh, so they just need to get the coal and that could help out the earthbenders. Yeah, that's kind of smart. The coal's coming out. Now the question is, are the earthbenders gonna help? This is a very what will happen kind of situation. Ha, that's what you thought. He's got her back though. I love it. This is epic. Earth Kingdom <laughs> This is so cool. Not only was he reunited with his father, but now he gets to fight with his father. <gasps> They're all working together. Look how, see the thing is, yeah, you may feel weak when you're on your own, but when you work together, look what the hell happens. This is so. Don't worry, I hear cowards float. He really said, help, I can't swim. Like you didn't just throw a guy overboard. Thank you for saving me. I'm so happy she didn't give up on them. Bio Nation will regret the day they set foot on Yeah. It's him, isn't it? The Avatar. Yep, that's the little avatar. My mother's necklace. It's go- Oh no. Fire Nate Zuko. Of course, he's the one who found her mother's necklace. That's messed up. That's a messed up way to end it also. Luckily, we're continuing it. <laughs> the spirit world. Oh, it's like part one. The next episode will be part two to this. A fire? A scar? It's so quiet. There's no life anywhere. Wait, what happened to him? What did he find? It's the Avatar's job to protect nature. You were stuck in a ball underneath the sea. There has to be a way that he could talk to the other avatars, like through him. Because they all live in each other, right? Like that's how it is. Like when you're reincarnated, the avatars are all inside you. Oh, on second thought, why don't you take another few minutes? <laughs> Oh my god. These acorns are everywhere, Aang. That means the forest will go back. There you go, some hope. Are you the Avatar? I love that he looked at Katara for a proof. He's like, do I say yes? And she was like, mm-hmm. A spirit monster comes and attacks our village. Hey, bye. Are we gonna have to fight off this spirit and it's gonna be like really hard? Earthbenders. Once great General Iroh. The once great General Iroh. Naked and captured. <laughs> What in the world was that? Aang, look behind you! Aang will figure out the right thing to do, Sokka. I love the huge amount of faith that she just has in him. She's like, I, you don't gotta get in his way. He knows exactly what he's doing. Just give him a chance. He got it. He got it. I don't want to fight him unless I... It sucks that the, that the spirit stole Sokka, but we'll probably understand why he's stealing people. And there's probably a reason that all this is happening. And I'm sure they'll fix it. That pile of rocks. Earthbenders. You know what's kind of dumb to me? Why didn't the Earthbenders fix that? Unless that was their point. Unless they wanted to capture him to show Prince Zuko that like, oh yeah, we stole your uncle. Uh, if that's the case, then yeah, you guys did a good job. But if you weren't trying to alert them that you stole his uncle, you probably should have made their rocks look natural. I don't know how this is gonna work. Huh? Sokka just disappeared into thin air. Oh wait, but he landed probably somewhere important. It's a bear? I love how they don't say anything. He just fell off. Ah, he did that on purpose. Never mind. I thought he was just being old. The sun is rising. He's in the spirit world. I'm in the spirit world. Hey, that's so cool. Let's go. I wonder what he's gonna learn there. Yep, yeah, that's Uncle Iroh. That's disgusting. Does he not have his air bending skills in here? 
Ah, oh, this is intense. Your sock is, do you? It's a good spirit or a bad spirit? Huh? Fire Nation? You're Avatar Roku's animal guy. Oh, so he's like the Appa for the Fire Nation for the old Avatar. That's so cool. Is he gonna take him somewhere to talk to Ro Ruko? 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 How do you pronounce his name again? Roku. He's gonna take him to meet Roku. That's kind of cool. I hope. I hope he does. That's an assumption. I don't know where he's going on his little animal. <gasps> How can he see the spirit world? <laughs> that old man just has no fears whatsoever. He's like, you think you could capture me? You were this close, but uh, nah, nah, you failed. <laughs> Well, that's cool. We went through the ceiling or wall, whatever it was. And the light will reach Roku on the solstice. So what, he has to wait now? That's a, yeah, he, he can't wait that long. <laughs> Except for it's not the Avatar, but like, of course you're gonna think it is. Why wouldn't you? He's conflicted between choosing between his uncle and the Avatar. <laughs> you gotta go through it, buddy. Wait, is he back in real life now? <laughs> this episode's so trippy. <laughs> Okay, he is back in real life now, because he, first of all, he's not blue, but second of all, he can, uh, he could do his airbending skills. Yeah. He chose his uncle over the avatar. That, honestly, I respect that. But you are clearly outmatched. Look at his fat little belly. He's like, I got you. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. <laughs> okay, they beat them pretty easily. Like, there was a little tiny bit of a fight there, but not much. Oh, what is he doing? It's the bear! You're upset and angry because your home was burned down. Oh, he's communicating with the bear. Stop, this is the most precious thing I've ever seen. He got the spirit to be happy. Stop. Sokka! That's so cute. I love this story. You could give us some supplies. Look, I understand why that feels like a, like a bad thing to ask for, but they're about to get, go on a huge journey. They have no food. They have no supplies. At the end of the day, if they really help them out this much, I feel like it's okay to ask for some supplies. But the solstice is tomorrow. So we gotta find this temple by tomorrow. The island is in the Fire Nation. You gotta be kidding. So not only is the island in the Fire Nation, but you, you need to get there by tomorrow. You don't even know what the island is. You just know what it looks like. But you need this to talk to the... Avatar. God damn it. That's messy, bro. Chapter 8. Avatar Roku? We got your back. I think that's the cutest thing. Before you Go! I love that he was like, thank you so much. And the guy was like, get out of here already! Huh? Having trouble sleeping? Okay, wait, wait, wait. This is jumping too fast for me. I was trying to say, he wanted to go to the island without Katara and Sokka. And they were like, mm-mm, you think that? But we're going with you because we don't leave our friends behind. And that was cute. And now fucking, I'm so sick of that, man. Stop showing up every two seconds after the Avatar. You have to be so careful. Waters. Oh my god, he's going into the Fire Nation waters so that he can catch the Avatar, but he's banished. He's literally banished. Aang, we got trouble. They're following you. Can't they just go up above the clouds and then they can't see them anymore? This is bad for both of them. Run the blockade! You're gonna get arrested, dude. Launch! Yeah, he's very heartless. Okay, good. They missed every single one of them. See, above the cloud. Oh, shoot. I was gonna say out of sight, out of mind, but look, <laughs> they're shooting it through the clouds. They don't really care where you are. They're just shooting everywhere. So you gonna fight it back? Hell yeah. We got into the Fire Nation. It's like, yay, we got to the Fire Nation. Now we're in really deep waters and we have to be really careful because we can die. <laughs> Does he want him to find the Avatar? Like maybe he's like, oh, maybe if he finds him, I could just follow him and then, I don't know. Wait. I love the way he's tiptoeing. He's like, <gasps> I am the Avatar. We know. Yeah, they're not the good guys. They're not gonna be like, oh yeah, let's take you to see the Avatar now. No. <laughs> oh, that's why they're trying to stop him. They don't want him to be powerful. Well, guess what? It's inevitable. So get used to it. I don't want to fight you. How do we know to trust you? You wish to speak to Avatar Roku. Is this guy really gonna help us or is he gonna get us in trouble? I don't think you have a choice, just go. Yeah, I mean, even if you want to question this guy, I think it's it's better to question him and just be in there. Oh, he's going with you, that's a good sign. Because if he, you don't know if he left it behind, maybe he'd be like, be like, guys, they went into the wild, they're stuck there now. They were waiting for me. Only a hundred years, you know? That's not that many, right? 
I, I, I think I respect this man and I like him. I don't think he's a liar. And if he is, that's going to break my heart. But I'm choosing to trust him for now. Only then will you be able to speak with him. He, I don't know how much of this I'll be able to keep in the video, but he's basically saying that like they were all, all the sages were loyal to the Avatar, but because they had to wait for the next Avatar's arrival and it took over a hundred years, they ended up losing that loyalty. The sages must open the doors together. Come on, there has to be a way they can do this. <laughs> Shayu lights the oil soaked twine and fire. Oh, he has a like a thing to make fake fire. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Will it work, will it work? Explosions? Didn't do anything. Sokka's plan didn't work, but it looks like it did. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. I think I know what she's gonna do. Is she gonna tell the firebenders that he got into the that area, and then they're gonna blast through to try and find him, but that's how they're gonna get through. Come quickly. The Avatar has entered the sanctuary. Ah, there you go. <gasps> the Avatar's coming with me. Are you, are you joking? Are you joking? That was so annoying. Go in, go, 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 go. You can do it, you can get into the room. Come on, squeeze your way through. Hell yeah. It's good to see you. You wouldn't even believe the story that we have so far. <laughs> he and his firebending army. So they used the comet to start the war and that's when they killed all of the other airbenders? That happened a hundred years ago. Which means another comet is gonna happen, isn't it? Ozen's comet will return by the end of the summer. So we've never met the fire lord? Uzai yet? Even the avatar won't be able to restore balance to the world. So how do you stop? How do you stop this? It's a oh my god, that's a huge responsibility. He has to destroy the fire lord by the end of this before the end of the summer. That is a hell of a lot of pressure, but I think he can do it. I I have faith in him. That's all that he's been through. I know you can do it, eh? Yeah, that's what he doesn't realize. All the knowledge and power is inside him. He just hasn't unlocked it yet. I can help you face the threat. Let's go. Hell yeah, let's go. This is gonna be cool. You can't mess with the Avatar. It's Avatar Roku, y'all. That is so cool. Okay, we're good. Now we gotta fly away. I wish we could have saved that one soldier that really helped us. Because he did a lot for us. Prince, no avatar. Suck it. Only Shayu helped the avatar. Yeah, Shayu, where is he? Take them to the prison hall. I mean, that's crazy because they didn't do anything, but what do you expect from evil people? Chapter nine, the water bending scroll. Whatever that means, we'll find out. Nice puddle. <laughs> I'm exactly like both of them. He's like, mm, and I'm like, Appa's happy. Back at the Fire Nation. I've lost my lotus tile. He's mad about losing a piece from his game. If you keep practicing, I'm sure eventually. Hey, I'm bending it already. He got that really fast. I'm lucky enough to have a great teacher. That's true. That's a really good point. That also makes her feel good. That was nice. Don't be disappointed if... He, he's got it. I can get why she would be annoyed, but this should be a good thing. Where are we? I couldn't say no to this whistle. He bought a whistle. Oh, this is what the chapter's named after, the water bending scroll. It's a water bending scroll. They're pirates and we gotta get out of here. Hey you, get back here. Did she steal the scroll? She stole the scroll, didn't she? My cabbages! It's always this man's cabbages. <laughs> he can't catch a break. Oh, sorry. He can't catch a break. <laughs> Did they just step on them? At least they got away. That's why I took this. I knew it! What did I say from the beginning? What did I say? I literally smiled and I said, I know the Katara stole it 100%. They stole it from a waterbender. Yeah, I'm with Katara on this one. I think I think she didn't really have a choice here. She had to, for the greater good, for, uh, for Aang to learn all of the elements. This was a very beneficial thing for them to have. You bought a Sungi horn? I'm so confused. So he was looking for his game tile, didn't find it. So he just bought a bunch of other stuff. This monk. Did he have an arrow on his head? <laughs> yeah, that's the avatar. <gasps> oh no! I wish a Bruce disappeared that quickly from my head. Bending is Will you please shut your air hole? Look, I understand her. I can understand the annoyance of her trying so hard and him getting it so easily, but guess what? He's the avatar. He already knows air bending. It's gonna come to him naturally. He's naturally gifted. He is insanely strong. That's just who he is. Getting mad at him for succeeding is kind of dumb, but I guess she's just frustrated because she can't get it. Oh my gosh, Aang. 
but I think she just realized that. There was that time you- No more apologies. I told you, she got that feisty side to her. She's like really nice and she's careful, but she got that side. But her saying she won't have anything to do with the uh, waterbending anymore, that she's, she should still keep practicing. But of course, it is really important for Aang. She only has till the end of the summer, so. Is she gonna try practicing again? <laughs> Okay, I get if she wants to practice, but first of all, she shouldn't be alone. Second of all, she shouldn't leave them. And third of all, she should not be yelling. I'll save you from the pirates. Did he really try to play off? Did he really try to play off being her hero? Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna capture you, but I'm gonna pretend that I'm saving you from the pirates. Something you've lost. That is so unfair to do to someone. Search the woods for the boy and meet back. So now he has everyone behind his back because he, he's threatening to burn the scroll if they don't help him and the pirates want the scroll. And they threaten Katara. Just a matter of time before she gets us all in deep. Ah! Oh no, this is not good. We can buy a hundred with the reward we'll get for the kid. Oh, they just flipped it on him. Oh. Damn, the pirates are crazy, man. Now Momo and that ugly bird are fighting. Uh, that was... Uh, never mind! I love how he sucked that he was, he like, parted and then he was like, mm, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Look at them working together, that's so cool. You cannot see your own ship has set sail? You are stupid! You're a stupid pirate! <laughs> They stole your ship too. That's funny. The pirates stole your ship. That's my boat. The pirates stole their ship and they stole his ship. That's awesome. We're going down a waterfall. Does it call Appa? That is so scary. But it's okay. Appa's right there. Bison whistle will come in handy. <laughs> the lotus tile was in my sleeve the whole time. Honestly, uh, deserved. Deserved. I got so competitive that I put us all in danger. It's really nice that she takes responsibility though and sits down and like apologizes, says what she did wrong and like learn from it. Stealing is wrong. Unless it's from pirates. I'm really enjoying this and we're on to episode 10, which is the last one for this video. Chapter 10, jet. Like water jet. <laughs> oh no, he got captured. <laughs> Oh, they freed them too. I don't even know what those were though. It's because they spot up. Yeah, he's very noticeable. <laughs> instincts tell me we should play it safe this time and walk. Sokka's instincts. Damn, they're not they're not giving him a break. <laughs> did they just did they just walk straight into the Fire Nation? Okay, yeah, Sokka, your instincts suck. <gasps> what? Look. Who is that? I mean, thank you. I just don't know who you are though. Down you go. He's really cool. That is a big man. I would not mess with that big man. Hey. Are they a possible like love interest thing? The way they looked at each other, that was actually kind of cute. My name is Jet and these are my freedom fighters. Oh, okay, so this is Jet. That's why the chapter is named Jet. You wanna see it? Yes, we wanna see it. Oh, she has a big crush. She has a huge crush. Did you see the way he just looked at her? This is really cute. I actually kind of like it. Okay. Grab hold of me, Katara. Stop it. Stop it. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. She has such a big crush on this guy, and I love it. He seems so cool. Go for it, girl. That is the coolest hideout ever. Oh my god. We've been ambushing their troops, cutting off their supply. I'm sorry, but like, he's talking normally, and then all of a sudden the guy's voice comes in, and it literally sounds like he has a voice effect on because of how deep his voice is. That tripped me out for a second. Definitely, we have to leave tonight. I needed you on an important mission. Ah. Ah, he knows how to he knows how to get his attention. He's like, I know you want to leave, but I'm telling you that I need you for a mission, which is gonna make you want to stay. <laughs> Who is that? False alarm. He's just an old man. He is not just an old man when it comes to the Fire Nation. Jet, he's just an old man. Okay, wait. I understand his point, but not everyone is gonna be completely evil from the Fire Nation. That's just not the way it works. Come on, Sokka. The problem is in my head, I'm like, what if he really is just a helpless old man? Like, that's just really rude. But what if he is, like, remember we thought that old man, the other man was helpless and he ended up turning us in and getting us in trouble. So it's like, you don't know. But we're leaving. But I made him this hat. Oh my, girl is in love. She is in love already. He was an assassin, Sokka. So he knew? I knew there was an explanation. Wait, 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 wait. He knew that this guy was an assassin? I'm sure you just didn't notice the knife. Or is this guy making it up? I believe Sokka more than this guy. We don't know this guy at all. Sokka has gained our trust. If you both use water bending to fill the reservoir, we could fight- I don't know what to believe. Where are they going? 
What in the world are they doing? I heard your plan to destroy the Earth Kingdom. But they're part of the Earth Kingdom. They have nothing to do with the Fire Nation. You can't do this. I don't like this guy. He already apologized. Really? Y'all should know that that's not like him. I guess something you said got through to him. Jet's a full-blown liar. Katara, you can do this. I don't like him anymore. There's something smug about him. Especially with that little stick in his mouth. You can take it out. It doesn't need to be there. Let's catch up with Jet at the reservoir. Oh, girl, you're crushing too hard. You don't even know the guy yet. I, I was rooting for it before, but he just seemed like a better person. <laughs> Damn. You both got stuck in a trap. You're gonna eat your lychee nuts? That guy doesn't even care that he's captured. He's like, I got food, I'm good. <laughs> he's so chill with it. Gosh, Jet's gonna blow up the dam. Finally, you guys are putting two and two together. I'm sorry, girl. He's not who you thought he was. Where's Sokka? You just broke her trust, you nasty- Come on, Sokka. Sorry, I ever doubted you. What will Sokka do? Oh, That's so sad. This was a victory, Katara. That was not a victory. Warn the villagers of your plan. I'm so- Wait, 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 I'm so happy. The man that Sokka helped save, the old man, vouched for him. When Sokka came to the villagers, he was like, you guys, they're about to blow up the dam. You guys are all gonna die. There's like, gonna be a huge flood. You guys need to come with me. The old guy vouched for him. That saved all of them. And she got her little doll back. Please, help me. Hell no. See ya later. Or see ya never. <laughs> that was 10 episodes down, you guys. I have been watching for like four hours, I think. I don't even know. I, my mind's a little fuzzy right now. But I will say that I enjoyed every second of it. There are a lot of times that I will watch a show or like binge a movie or... Let's say instead of watching one Harry Potter movie, watching all the Harry Potter movies, instead of one Twilight movie, watching all the Twilight movies, like things like that. And I feel like sometimes with certain shows, you can feel like it drags on a little bit. But I'm actually really enjoying every second of the show. It is so much better than I ever anticipated. I'm a I'm obsessed with the characters. I'm obsessed with their the storyline that goes on between them, the chemistry, the things that they're learning. I love that Aang feels like a real child. Like they feel like real children just learning things. And I love that. I'm super curious just to see where it goes. We have another 10 episodes left to the first uh, book, which is like season one. After we watch Avatar The Last Airbender, like the cartoon, the whole thing, we'll move on to the live action that Netflix just released so that I have a better input and I'm just more informed. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Please refrain from a little bit of spoilers just because I don't know anything yet and I would love to just be surprised by what happens but uh please 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 tell me you guys are thinking uh, maybe fun facts that i don't know if i would love to hear everything but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because we are currently on a goal of 20,000 subscribers and i will see you guys in the next one